Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the date order in the master file table. Um, you can ask like usually, um, you could find it in the property pane, but what if you get an exam question that just give you some hex and say, uh, where would you identify the modified date of the file or what is the last access date and time? So it is wise to know um, these as well. So let's go with the, um, first of all, let's go to the file we've been working on. Let's get the root, download applications. I believe we worked with style.css. Okay, so uh, let's check the offset again. It's 161792, just make it hex. Okay, since we got the offset, we need to go find the master file table in the root folder. Let's go get that. Now here, right click and go to offset. There you go. 161792. This I previously typed in so it kind of saves the last information which was typed. Keep a decimal and beginning of the file. Click OK. As you can see again, the cursor here blinking starts from the offset 27800. Let me just highlight it and again I got some screenshots I took previously um, working this. So let me uh, highlight this and that's the file. Okay. Sometimes it's a pain to work. Okay, there you go. And uh, let me just show you the screenshot of what it looks like. Okay, there you go. Now that is the file in the master file table. Okay, so let's go back to the FTK major. Now, Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to highlight the standard information attribute, um, which I mentioned in the previous videos. It always begins with the number 10. So that's the entire fire. And if you just select the standard information attribute and select it all just before the file name which begins with three zero. So basically all your time and date, it's gonna be within these bytes. Again, I've got a screenshot just to show you. There you go. So from the standard information and attribute up to just before the file name attribute, just select uh, all of this, well, you mean you don't have to select all of this. I'm just showing you like uh, the date and time it's going to be within this standard information attribute. So let's go for the next one. Um, it's going to be four different uh, time zones, um, date and times, sorry. So you could first, you could ignore the first 24 bytes. It's because each attribute has 24 byte header. Uh, so, um, the date always starts from the 25th. So ignore the first 24 bytes and then select the next eight bytes, which is the file creation date and time. Let me clearly show you that in the photos. There you go. So leaving the first 24 byte header from the 25, you select eight bytes. And in the FTK imager, once you select that, go to properties, or if you go to hex value interpreter, there you go. There's your time and date. That's your file creation time and date. That is a UTC and that is a local. In the exam, you don't have to uh, type this. Basically, you can copy paste it, which would make it easier. So that's the file creation date and time. And then if you select the next eight bytes, that is file modified date and time. Again, let me show you. Sorry, my laptop is a bit slow. Okay, there you go. That's the first 
one, which was the file creation date and time. The second eight bytes is file modified date and time. As you could see, the time has been changed here. And then if you choose the third eight bytes, that is the master file table entry altered date and time. If the file entry has been altered in the master file table, um, you can see it here, the third one, which also I'll show you in a screenshot. There you go. And then at last, if you select the last eight bytes, that would be your file last accessed date and time, which is clearly shown here. There you go. So the first one, first eight bytes, are file creation date and time. The second eight bytes would be file modified date and time. The third eight bytes would be master file table entry altered date and time. And finally, the fourth eight bytes are file last access date and time. And remember, just leave the header, the 24 bytes. Leave that, starts from the 25th byte. And these are your four different uh, um, altered date and times. Um, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.